The Maribyrnong River is a significant waterway that rises on the slopes of Mount Macedon and flows to Port Phillip Bay, passing through Melbourne's western suburbs. The Maribyrnong Valley provides the space for recreation for nearly two million residents. The urban surroundings of the river are typically residential, commercial and industrial and are administered by four municipalities, Melbourne Water and Parks Victoria. The Friends of the Maribyrnong Valley is the community group that provides a public soul and conscience. Friends of the Maribyrnong Valley was established in 1985 with a charter to not only care for the river and its valley, but to be the watchdog, to alert inappropriate activities, to advance public awareness of this magnificent resource, and altogether to make it a better place to be. Early in the 20th century, the entire area had been cleared of its trees, resources for building, fencing and fuel, to support the burgeoning industries of Melbourne's western suburbs. The 1920s provided evidence that the community cared. Regattas and swimming carnivals were regularly held, and the riverbanks were shored up with locally quarried bluestone blocks and avenues of canary palms planted to line the river. But by the 1960s, urbanisation was advancing, taking the suburbs as far as Keylor, and with industry dominating the skylines at Footscray, Braybrook and Sunshine. Quarries scarred the land too, some were close to the river. Animals introduced a century before had taken over the wildlife, Rabbits ate the vegetation, foxes, cats and dogs killed anything smaller. Starlings and sparrows ruled the air. Rubbish is a modern day threat to the entire area. We will see how the Maribyrnong Valley has changed since then and how Friends of the Maribyrnong Valley has been a driving force in that process. Today, the Maribyrnong River, with its tributaries, valley, riverside parks and wetlands, has moved away from its industrial roots to become an important environmental community asset. It provides a peaceful sanctuary for residents and visitors to enjoy, either relaxing or recreational activities, including fishing, bushwalking, jogging, bird observing and cycling. It's also an important wildlife highway, with birds, bats, insects, reptiles, mammals and frogs travelling from the bush beyond Brimbank through to city parks. Despite the pressures that Greater Melbourne imposes on the Maribyrnong River environment, some reminders of the earlier world remain. Seals and dolphins are sometimes seen in the river as far upstream as Canning Street. White-bellied sea eagles have resided at the North Maribyrnong Defence Site for over a decade, nesting in the gum trees on the riverbank. Wedge-tailed eagles and peregrine falcons are sometimes seen overhead. Black wallabies, water rats and dunnarts remain by the river, despite predation by foxes, cats and dogs. Echidnas, platypuses and wombats inhabit the river valley and have been sighted at Brimback Park and Keelor. A number of reptiles have survived, protected by the ruggedness of the land. Brown snake, blue tongue and other skinks are widespread in the valley and the long-necked turtle is in the river around Brimbank. Trees and shrubs in the valley and in nearby gardens and parks provide cover and feed for a variety of birds. So that the New Holland honey eater, rainbow lorikeet, crimson rosella, eastern spinebill, crested pigeon and red rumped parrot can be found throughout the valley. Fruit bats and owls patrol the skies after dusk. 
A diverse mix of trees and shrub species has increased the biodiversity within the valley. It's especially pleasing to come across specimens of native grasses, such as wallaby and kangaroo grasses, and wildflowers including yellow everlastings, spiny rice flower, blue devil, saltbush, and pink bindweed. The river valley and its escarpments are home to residual pockets of the original vegetation. Despite grazing by livestock and rabbits at different times in the past, a number of riparian and grassland species remain upstream from Smiley Creek by Afton Street. In 2012, a new and interesting wetland was especially created to purify and retain stormwater from Smiley Creek. Most of the trees of the region were felled over a century ago, but today the river valley is recovering, with river red gums and other eucalypts and wattles giving a natural woodland setting. Many smaller trees and shrubs, such as river bottle brush, tree violet, sweet passaria, lightwood and hedge wattle also remain. Casuarinas, which were most abundant in the early 1800s, then called oaks, are not as prominent in the landscape today. Friends of the Maribyrnong Valley has a long record of replanting locally native plants to restore and beautify the river valley, and has contributed to the recovery of the valley at several locations, including Grimes Flat and Canning Street Escarpment, and are working on the area between Rose Creek and Steel Creek at Avondale Heights. These projects are in collaboration with local schools, corporate and community groups, and with local and state government bodies. Also on the Mooney Valley side are Riverside Park, Aberfeldy Park, and Fairbairn Park. On the Maribyrnong side are the Cribwall Garden Chifley Drive, Colson Gardens, Pipe Makers Park, the Edgewater Riverside Precinct, Newell's Paddock, Cranwell Park, Stony Creek and the historic Footscray Park. Friends of the Maribyrnong Valley have contributed to the enhancement of several of these locations and others too, with weed eradication, planning and replanting and acknowledges the funding and collaboration of the Victorian State Government, the municipalities of Mooney Valley, Brimbank and Maribyrnong Melbourne Water and Parks Victoria in its work along the river. As the Maribyrnong River meanders through the western suburbs, its floodplains, escarpments and terraces provide the space for community recreation. Any of the parks and reserves are linked by pleasant footpaths and the Friends of the Maribyrnong Valley are active in the cause of creating a continuous corridor for pedestrians and cyclists from Sydenham and Brimbank parks to Footscray and Westgate parks. The Riverside Precinct around the North Maribyrnong Defence Site will in time be a vital link in the chain from Footscray to Brimbank. The river has, since the earliest times, been the focus of community activities. The 19th century saw rowing, swimming and fishing, both as informal and organised events. The annual Henley on the Maribyrnong, held near the Rally Road Bridge until the 1920s, prompted the construction of the bluestone terraces on the Essendon side. Water sports remain popular today, 
with Essendon and Footscray rowing clubs and a thriving canoe club near Rally Road. Perhaps the biggest single attraction on the river floodplain is the Flemington Racecourse, venue for the Melbourne Cup Racing Carnival each November when 100,000 attend and spill out onto the riverbank. Fishing also remains a well-supported pastime, with anglers using the many fishing platforms and other vantage spots too. Most of the larger reserves and parks like Sydenham, Brimbank and Horseshoe Bend have barbecue, picnic facilities and children's playgrounds. The upstream parks are larger and popular for days out with the family by the river in a natural setting riverside tracks providing opportunities for walking and cycling. From the Canning Street Bridge at Avondale Heights, riverside paths extend over six kilometres through protected valleys. Friends of the Maribyrnong Valley has worked for several years to restore these areas to a tranquil, wooded setting. And revegetation projects are progressing, as may be seen between the Tea Gardens and Steel Creek. <laughs> 